Hi there, I'm Manoj and welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about famous Python package management system, PIP. So there are many other package management systems like Conda and Easy Install, but I personally use PIP and Conda. Although we'll talk about Conda in the upcoming videos, in this video we'll focus on PIP. So what is PIP? PIP stands for Preferred Installer Program. PIP securely downloads and installs Python modules and dependencies onto your computer from this website, the Python Software Foundation. PIP searches for published Python packages on PyPI, or also known as Python Package Index, which is a sort of a free app store for Python modules. So now as we know what is PIP, let us now look into some most used PIP commands. So the first command is pip help. This command shows you all the possible commands you can use with pip and their users like install to install packages and uninstall to uninstall packages and many other commands and I'm going to explain all these commands in this video. So if you want to get help for a specific command, you can use pip help and you can add that specific command you want to know about and it will give you the explanation about that command as I have typed install so it's giving me all the explanation that I need to know before using install command so the next command is pip search so what pip search does is it searches the database for the package you need and provides you the information about that package like if I want to know about pandas so it gives me all the packages and their informations related to pandas so these are the packages and dependencies of pandas so if I want to know about any other package I can just uh, use this command with the name of that package suppose if I want to know about pi email I'll get a description of what that package is used for like python library to send emails using smtp library so that's the use of pip search command so the next is a command which we use in our day-to-day -day lives called pip install there are many versions of pip install like if you use pip install directly with any package name suppose if I want to install pandas I can just execute it and pandas will be installed so now as we have successfully installed pandas we can use the pip list command to check for all the existing libraries in our current environment so if I execute this command it will give me a list of packages that are currently in my environment so i've just installed pandas and numpy and other pytz modules have been installed because they all are dependencies of pandas module so another way of using pip install command is along with the specific python version suppose that you're working with multiple python versions on the same system and you want to install a package specifically for a particular version of python so in that case this command can be handy for example, I'm using Python 3.9 and Python 3.8 on my system and I want to install a package only for my Python 3.9. So what I can do is py space hyphen 3.9 space hyphen m pip install django. So what this does is, it installs Django only to my Python 3.9. So let us now check the pip list for my Python 3.9. So the command is similar, python space hyphen 3.9 and hyphen m pip list. So this will show you Django in here. So this installation of Django won't affect my Python 3.8 similar to install command we can also uninstall packages using uninstall command suppose
suppose if I want to uninstall NumPy I can just execute this command and NumPy will be uninstalled and it will ask you for your permissions to uninstall and it will be uninstalled so now if I check my list NumPy will be missing so NumPy is missing you can also check for the outdated packages from your existing list of packages you can just execute this command pip list and hyphen hyphen outdated so this will list all the packages that are outdated like setup tools which is 47.1.0 but the latest version is 51 and pip is also the older version so you can get all the outdated packages using this command or else you can also use single hyphen o for the same purpose so now we know that setup tools should be updated so how can we update setup tools there is one simple command to update python packages that is pip install iphone uppercase u and the name of the package setup tools so what this does is it will just update the package so setup tools is now updated you can also update all the older modules using one single command this is a quite big command so i'll leave this in the description so it will be easy for you guys to copy paste it in the terminal and update all the older versions of modules in one click so you might be using a particular set of packages for your current project and you want to use the same packages that you're using now for your next project so how can you do that you can just use the pip freeze command which will give you the names of all the current existing packages and their version numbers and you can transfer them into a text file like this pip freeze and i'm going to create a requirements.txt file i'll keep it short and a text file is created so whenever you create your new virtual environment for your next project you can install all the required packages in one single click so how do we use this requirements.txt file so let me show you one thing i'll just uninstall pandas and i'll reinstall all the modules we've copied into this environment again so how can we do this just pip install iphone r and the name of the file which is req.txt so what this does is it installs all the packages mentioned in that text file so some of the packages are already there in our environment so the packages pandas and numpy will get newly installed again So we have successfully installed all the packages using requirements.txt file. You can do the same for uninstalling too. You can just add this uninstall command and if you execute this command, it will just uninstall all the packages that are mentioned in the text file. You just need to give permissions to delete each and every package. So all the packages are deleted so let us now check the pip list so it will be mostly empty because we have deleted most of the modules which are present in the text file because numpy is not mentioned in the text file it isn't deleted yet so the next command is pip show what this command does is you can just provide the package name that you want to view the details for and it will show you the details of the package the version number the author uh, the license etc and the next command is pip check this check command will provide you the information about all the packages which are missing dependencies so if we pip check no broken requirements found 
which means that all the packages we currently have are satisfying the required dependencies. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe the channel and I'll meet you in the next one.